so cute. Welcome to my video about a moth species called the Milantria xanthospila. It's so, so, so cute. It's one of the cutest moths that I've seriously ever seen and that I ever showed on my channel before. Now the story behind this species is quite interesting. I received them as eggs and even the eggs are really, really hairy. They came to me from an African country called Cameroon. After that, I tried to raise the baby caterpillars in captivity. And after a while, they grew into these big, orange, fuzzy haired caterpillars, which are quite breathtaking to be honest. Now these orange caterpillars, they were very charming, but not as, not as awesome as the adult. But um, they took many months to raise about a two and a half month from egg to cocoon and after that they spun an orange hairy cocoon finally after raising them using bramble leaf the adult moth that you see here before you hatched um, i just really want to show this species off to you now if you're curious about how i raised this species there's um, an episode called in my series moth cycles where I raise a mystery moth species and there you will see the full story about how I bred this species in captivity. This video is just a summary of a very big video. So I recommend that you go look up moth cycles on my channel. Despite that not everybody has the time to watch very long videos. So here is a very short video showing that species. Now here you see its cute fuzzy bunny like antenna uh, that tells us that this is a male because only the males have antenna like these. They use them to smell females. Now the fuzzy hair is a protection mechanism. It may uh, bother predators and be uh, itchy. It also, also helps them keep warm at night and blend a little uh, with their environment. What a super cute species, isn't it? Now this one comes from the uh, Limantrine subfamily under the Arabidae, which makes it a kind of uh, a kind of tussock moth, or as other people say, gypsy moths, the Limantrine subfamily. It used to be their own uh, taxonomical family, but not anymore. And it's very interesting to st study these in captivity, although sadly it's uh, difficult to get breeding material of them. People tend to ignore this group of moths in favor of others, like uh, silk moths, Saturnidae, which get a lot more attention. But I really like all kinds of moths, it doesn't matter what family or what group they are. Now in Africa, supposedly, these guys are kind of common. Um, I've also went to Asia myself and saw many similar species of Limantrids. So despite being common, they are not very um, often raised by entomologists like me who like to study their life cycles. And uh, well, I made a bigger video out of that. And this is my short video of that long version. Anyway, thank all of you for watching. I really hope that you like this cutie as much as I do. They are likely to be very polyphagous and eat many kinds of plants in captivity. Mine would eat uh, bramble but also oak tree and uh, some types of cherry. So I guess it's not hard to find many different foods for them. They uh, will eat many types of plants. And uh, that makes them kind of easy easyish to raise in captivity. This is what happens with Milantria Xanthuspila. Oh by the way, did you know that I have an Instagram account? Follow Coppens B, here you see the Instagram handle. You should check that out to see all my photos. Thanks and goodbye.